Hello, everybody. Welcome to this month's organization hop with Miss Karen. Karen is amazing from Yes, P yes Please Paper Crafts. Whew. <laughs> That's a big one. I hope that you are having a beautiful day and you're ready to learn some organization and share how you organize. Now, I will have in the description of this video all the links to everyone else who is participating in this hop because this month we are talking about what we store in closets and things outside of our craft room. Um, this one is going to be a quick video for me because I really don't have a lot outside of my room. I have a very small closet um, compared to what I used to have, but I'm lucky enough I have a lot right within arm's reach of me in my craft room displayed. I've chosen to display it in nicer ways so that it looks nice when people are staying because this is also my guest room. <laughs> So um, I have a Murphy bed, so I don't really use lose any floor space, but I do want it to look pleasing to the eye. And it's obviously a craft room, but um, yeah. So I um, am just going to get right into it. I'm going to show you my closet. I do have a closet outside of my room that I keep already scrapped photos. And then I do have something in the garage. Yeah, I'm going to tell you, I already filmed that part and... It's hairy. Don't look at the dirt. Don't look at the mess. <laughs> because I will tell you, this has prompted me probably after I do this, I'm cleaning my linen closet out. I mean, it's somewhat organized, but you know, I just had tons of people here staying for Christmas. Um, well, when I'm filming it, it's still the end of January. And I've washed all the linen, but I need to fold it up. I need to put it back in its container so that it's nice. I put all my linens in sets, in bags. Yeah, I know. So, <laughs> bear with me, enjoy, and let's talk about it. All right, so here is my closet in my craft room. Um, As I said, I only have, I think, two other places. I do have a tub in my garage. I'm going to show you that as well. And I do have my hall linen closet where I keep the older photos that I've already scrapped. So I'll show you that as well. So in my scrap room, I have my tiny little closet. Before Jill and I switched rooms, I had a huge closet. So most of my stuff is in my actual room on shelves and stuff. Now, this is where I have my iris spins. And I am hoping... <laughs> crossing fingers this summer my husband can actually um take these shelves out because they are not tall enough for 12 by 12s to stand upright which I would much rather so I don't have to pull these out that's on the goal list right we always have goals <laughs> but here is where I keep a lot of my giveaways so if you look closely I have Christmas giveaway so from here until next Christmas because we just did a big Christmas giveaway Halloween giveaways I got flower kits giveaway stamps and this is what I use my iris bins for but it's not limited to that. I do have a few themes here. And that's how I use my iris bins. But I do want them vertically instead of horizontal. So I don't have to pull them all out to get the flower kits. I can pull them. So my husband, I want him to build me a more appropriate shelf and or us buy one. Um, up on the top here, this is like uh, things from Jill and Jason's being in school projects. Yeah, you know, mom things, right? These are newer photos. I have these are sorted. This is where I keep my photo storage. This is Jill's art um, from COVID. Let's see here. I do have a few boxes, um, but I... I honestly, I fill these up and when these are full of completed layouts, it's time for me to put them in albums. Um, here, this is Jill's scrapbook shelf. These are her things, her scrapbook. This is my large doilies. I do have a few um, page protectors there. Let's see here. Here I have some bulk items. Um, these are the containers um, that I use and just things that honestly I need to put away. It's full. I need to put it away. <laughs> These are swap embellishments that are sorted by theme. A lot of this closet now is dedicated to the giveaways, you guys. This was a beautiful gift kit that um, one of my captains sent to me. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, what is in this one? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Let's look. Oh, man. I just dropped it. <laughs> That's not good. 
<laughs> that's not good. All right, I'll pick that up here in a minute. Um, this is all my sequins and such. My drawer, that's what this is. My eyelids, my eyelet setter. Um, and that's all the washi tape, y'all. That's all I got. Um, these last two drawers here. All right, I don't want to, I'm going to go slow because I don't want anyone to get sick. These are photos recently printed that I need to put away. These I use to sort the main swap. I mean, mine's different than most people's. I used to keep a lot of stuff in here. Okay, let me pull this up. Oh, I know what this is. This binder is my stencils. This binder. Okay, let's see if I can do it this time. It is my stencils and my large card dies. That's what this is, okay? Um, on the very bottom of this shelf, I have I have two industrial sewing machines. Y'all have never seen me do anything sewing because I just don't do it. I don't. I have albums of base pages. Um, that's what's next to the sewing machine there. And then this here is all cards, thank you cards and stuff when I used to make cards. I'm down to that little bit because I don't make cards anymore. That's all my mailing supplies for giveaways, boxes, um, padded envelopes that I can reuse. Yeah, that's pretty much this whole closet, you guys. I really don't, I need everything out in my space that I can see, like I said. Now I'm going to cut away, walk to the other, don't want to make anyone dizzy, and I'm going to show you how I store scrapped photos that are already scrapped. So here we are, we're in the closet. I have a 12 foot ceiling, so yes, it's very echoey. This is Jilly's door. <laughs> She's a teenager, right? Teenager. So when I open this closet here, don't look at it. It is a disaster. <laughs> it needs, I attempt to organize. On the very top, I guess technically that could be seen as um, crafty storage. It is literally a cube full of containers, full of containers. I'll pull it down here in a minute and we'll go into it. Um, and then that's it right there. I have, those are all extra photos that I have scrapped and or photo containers that I can use to organize. Other than that, that's it. So let me grab this down and we will, I'll show you how I, um, that, the red one, that's all containers too. Yeah, I'll show you how I do that. Hang on okay. just one second. Short people problems. So it took me a minute to get that down. <laughs> I'm so short. All right. so. In here, I keep all of my containers that I might use to organize. And, oh, look, I was looking for this the other day when we were making page kits. Um, these are all containers, most of them from the Dollar Tree, okay? Um, small ones, I've used those. I have some snap and locks, um, different things. This is one I actually, oh my gosh. I'm sorry. This is one I've used in the past. I'm thinking of pulling it out actually to do some more wood veneer storage. I got this on Timu. Totally worth it. Just look up small storage. Um, all of them have come and gone, but I don't want to get rid of them because I might use them in the future. Same way with that red bin. It's the same kind of stuff. Actually, it's like smaller containers even. So other than that, most of my stuff is in my scrappy room. I do have one tote in my garage and i guess i can show you that so let's um head out to the garage this is a tour of ginger's house <laughs> all right y'all i'm in my garage so <laughs> as you can see it, i mean it, it's fairly organized it really is this one here that says keepsakes that's the one we're going for so i'm going to pull it down and i'm going to show you i left this like this on purpose look at this west texas life so i live in the desert and we get major windstorms here yeah this is my life i literally wiped these off probably a month ago crazy if one of the kids leaves the garage door open um yeah the, it's crazy but everything inside is totally fine and inside of here are photos you know if you'll watch you know that i am trying to um uh use up my eight by ten photos and such this is where they are you guys this is where i have them the professional photos my large photos that used to be on my wall so that's why one of my goals is to do that i've been grabbing some out of here each month and eventually this top will be empty yay so let me go back to my desk we'll wrap this up and it'll be um interesting to see what you guys do outside of your craft room um what do you store that's crafty outside of that space of yours so hang in there all right you guys so i am back out of 
from the dust bowl that we call a garage. Would you guys believe we actually mop our garage floor? Yeah, we do. Probably once every other week. We don't do it often, but we do do it because the dirt is just crazy, crazy. When we were looking at houses here, squirrel, we were looking at houses, like we would go into brand new homes and they would just have dirt in the window seals. It, it gets, it gets pretty crazy. Um, so anyway, um, I brought this in because I need this anyway. That's how I store things outside of my craft room. I don't have product. I don't have um, like collections or anything like that. I do have photos and containers, I guess I'm considering that, outside of my craft room. And really my crafty closet is all about my giveaways that I do. Um, it used to be different, but um, that's what it is now. I guess my point to it is there's no wrong way, right? I'm sure everyone that does this hop is going to tell you the same thing. And do what works best for you and don't think it has to stay that way. I recently was watching Janet and she mentioned the fact that it's okay if we buy, blah, buy a product to organize with and then six months down the road we decide that product's not working for us. It can be pricey. I'm not going to say it can't, but what it means is that you're evolving and you're moving and you're changing your style and you're learning and something that did work doesn't work. It doesn't mean that you made a mistake. So don't be afraid to change the way you do things. Please leave me a comment. I am so excited to know what it is you do and what you store outside of your craft room. Is it different than me? Like, do you have any suggestions for things that I do? I would love all of it. Um, and I, I hope you'll go check out the other participants in this hop. Karen has some of the most amazing storage and so does Joanne Bartell. Like, oh, amazing storage and, you know, life goals, right? But, um, I've thought about even getting a system like Joanne Bartels and Karen's this close several times. However, I, I don't know. I don't think I want that. This is what works for me. Um, my I had five kids at home. Now I do basically have a room to myself, but it's still a guest room with my Murphy bed that folds down. So I can't dedicate a space 100%. Now down the road, that may happen. And I would totally probably get an entire system. But for now... This is what works for me. What works for you? I love it when you comment. I always reply, thanks for hanging out with me. Thanks for looking at my dirt in the garage. <laughs> and I hope I did not make anybody sick. Um, be blessed and I will see you next month. Bye.